Tonight we're hearing reports that a fifth grade student in West Seneca brought THC laced candy to school earlier this week. Now recreational marijuana is legal for adults in New York State, so now schools are faced with the challenge of cracking down on what substances students might bring on campus. And to on your sides, Andy Payton has been following this story for us tonight. And he joins us in the studio with how the district is actually responding to this. Andy? Yes, yeah, Scott Mary Alice, that's right. Yesterday we had a viewer reach out to us sharing that there was an email sent out to all fifth grade parents at Winchester Porter's Elementary. It reads that a fifth grade student brought and distributed THC laced candy to class candy, excuse me, to classmates earlier this week. The principal of the elementary school said they became aware of the matter towards the end of the school day and launched an internal investigation. Now there were also reports of students being taken into the hospital, but a spokesperson for the school told me tonight that those reports are false and shared this statement saying we will remain vigilant and increase our education efforts to both children and their families regarding the presence and storage of now legal THC candy in households and the community. The prevalence of easy available and legal THC candy in the community means that to means the spillover to schools was inevitable, but it will not be tolerated. Now to address this increased prevalence as legal cannabis dispensaries are soon set to open in Western New York. The administration said in a separate email that it is planning to host an event with the school's resource officer and social workers to have an open dialogue and address any questions and concerns parents have related to cannabis. They will also be offering a cannabis 101 presentation hosted by Horizon Health Services that will focus on overall risk and effects of THC. Now it is still unknown the students intentions and how they were able to get the candies in in the first place, but the school district is investigating the situation and will be sure to provide updates reporting in the studio tonight. Andy Payton Channel 2 News.